Once we know the anatomy of the Bursche, now we are going to take a look with ultrasound. And let's start with the subacromial subdeltoid bursa. To see this bursa with ultrasound, we will ask the patient to, pay, to put the arm in the modified cross position, a second position, okay? And we will put the probe almost vertical, slightly rotated, over the most anterior part of the shoulder. And we will obtain this image with the humeral head and the supraspinatus footprint. So this will be the supraspinatus tendon. Remember that the supracromial subdeltoid bursa will be located between the deltoid and the supraspinatus. So this will be the acromion at this level, okay? And this will be the deltoid muscle, and the deltoid muscle will be located here. So between the deltoid and the supraspinatus will be located the bursa. And you can see it with ultrasound like this double hyperechogenic line here. So the first layer, the superficial layer, will be located in the deep fascia, um, attached to the deep fascia of the deltoid, and the deep layer will be located attached to the supraspinatus. And the content of the bursa will be this very, very thin anechoic line between those hyperechoic lines. Okay? So this is the content of the normal, or normal bursa. In the short axis, again, this will be the supraspinatus on its short axis, and this will be the deltoid on its short axis. And again, this double hyperechoic line, you can see here, with this thin anechoic line just between the hyperechoic lines. Okay? So this is a normal bursa on its short axis. Remember that the bursa can reach the lateral aspect of the humerus of the greater tubercle, the greater tuberosity. Okay? So we can go over the greater tuberosity and sometimes we will see the pouch with liquid inside. Okay? Don't forget to go uh, lateral if you want to be sure there is no bursitis. This is a pathologic case. And again, when we are anterior over the tendon of the long head of the biceps, remember that the bursa cover this long head of the biceps. And we can see when it's a fusion, we can see the, this bursa reaching, they are covering this tendon of the long head of the biceps. Second one, the coracobrachial bursa. Remember three properties, three particularities. This bursa is caudal to the coracoid process, deep to the coracobrachialis, and anterior, superficial to the subscapularis. We place the probe in, over the coracobrachialis. You can see here, this is the coracobrachialis, okay? and this is the bursa. This will be the subscapularis. So the subscapularis go there, and the bursa is superficial to the subscapularis and deep to the coracobrachialis. You can see here the bursa. Subscapularis is this tendon. And see how this bursa, in this case, communicates with the subacrobial subdeltoid bursa, okay? which is also pathologic. So it's not rare to be this communication between the subacrobial subdeltoid bursa and the coracobrachial bursa. In the long axis, you can see here the MRI, you see a very good image of the coracobrachial bursa. And this is the ultrasound. And again, this is the coracobrachialis, this is the subscapularis, and you can see the bursa between them. Okay. Next bursa, the subcoracoid bursa. The subcoracoid bursa is quite similar to the coracobrachialis bursa, but the difference is, is, most, is more cranial. So this subcoracoid bursa is cranial to the subscapularis. It's not anterior to the subscapularis, but cranial, and is in the base of the coracoid process, not uh, um, down the coracoid process, not distal to the coracoid process. If we place the probe, we go over the coracoid process, and we will see this small amount of fluid here. Eh? And if we continue distal, this fluid disappears. Eh? It's no more anterior to the subscapularis. In this long axis, you can see a better view of the bursa going deep, um, deep under the coracoid process. This is the coracoid process. This is the coracobrachialis muscle. Okay? 
and this will be the subscapular is over there. So the bursa is located here. You will understand better if you see the MRI. So this is the subscapularis and this is the subcaracoid bursa. Okay. I don't have examples of the subscapularis bursa because it's very uh, difficult to see with ultrasound, but the, this bursa will be located deep to the subscapularis and slightly more medial, okay? just in the anterior recess of the glenohumeral joint. Ultrasound, this, this was the ultrasound of the bursae, okay? and now let's move to the demo. <laughs> 